Seattle Seahawks wide receiver DK Metcalf ran the 100-meter dash in 10.36 seconds at the USATF Golden Games and Distance Open in Walnut, Calif, on Sunday, finishing ninth in his heat. His time was the third slowest of the 17 entrants in the men's 100-meter dash. Just happy to be here, Metcalf said after the race. Just having the opportunity to come out here and run against these guys is a blessing. When asked if he'd like to come back and run in a different event, Metcalf, who stuck with the pack for the first half of the race before falling behind toward the end, joked that he's looking forward to attending the Seahawks minicamp. Metcalf signed up for Sunday's race after being invited by USA Track and Field last October to join its relay team after one of the more exciting plays of the NFL season. Arizona Cardinals safety Butter Baker intercepted a Russell Wilson pass and looked like he was going to pull off a nearly 100-yard pick six. Metcalf set off at an electrifying speed and caught Baker from behind, sending social media into a frenzy. Isaiah Young, an Ole Miss alum like Metcalf, won the first heat at 10.09 seconds. Craven Gillespie won the second heat in 10.11 seconds. To qualify for the Olympic trials, Metcalf would have needed to run 10.05 seconds with a legal tailwind of no more than 2 meters per second. How did he look? Chris Camrani, staff writer, well, Metcalf didn't embarrass himself. If anything, the Seattle star receiver proved that he wasn't a fish out of water Sunday. Former Olympian and world record holder Ronaldo Nehemiah told The Athletic this week he would be impressed if Metcalf ran a 10.30. Metcalf came pretty darn close with a 10.36 in his 100-meter dash heat. Metcalf looked like he belonged with the fastest sprinters in the country, which is an accomplishment in and of itself. What's next for Metcalf's offseason? Michael Sean Dugar, Seahawks beat writer, now that Metcalf is done with his Olympic dreams, for now, he can turn his attention to learning Seattle's new offensive scheme under first-time play caller Shane Waldron. Metcalf has improved his numbers in each of his first two seasons in the league, making the Pro Bowl roster in 2020. If Waldron just picks up where Russell Wilson and Metcalf left off last season, Seattle should continue to have one of the best QBWR pairings in the NFL next season. Photo, Abbey Park, Getty Images.